think back to being a grade schooler and the feeling that you got when somebody went ahead of you in line without permission. Like there was a white hot anger crazy rage <laughs> that would bloom inside your baby brain. And some of the most angry words that you might have said to your grade school peers were no budging or no cutting. If you grew up in Ohio, maybe no ditching in the UK, no cue jumping. Like we really cared that the sanctity of the line be honored because there was something about the standing line that tapped into like our fundamental ideas about justice, about fairness. And even as adults, like right beneath the surface of the standing line, there are some really intense dynamics at play that have everything to do with sex and money and violence and power. What's interesting for me is that we all tend to kind of despise waiting. We tend to want to use our time well, but within cultures, what waiting looks like is dramatically different. In Japan, there are very strict rules around waiting. As you approach the Tokyo Metro, there are even little lines that everybody is supposed to line up on. And anybody who breaks those norms, it is very frowned upon. And then you see that in the wake of something like the Tohoku earthquake and the Fukushima crisis where people queued up for rations of food and water and the lines would be just tremendously long, but they were very orderly, very single file. There was no disruption to that because culturally lining up comes with very specific notions of decorum to maintain the cultural identity of the people in Japan. 